Okay. Um. I'm gonna double check the stream on Twitch real quick. Oh, perfect. Looks great. Um. Audio levels good. We have our cast. Everyone's here. Um, we are good to go. I'm just gonna hit start and yolo it. Uh, and I, I will mute myself. Um, for the uh, for the ability for everyone else who is reading to focus. Um, uh, please either mute yourself or turn on uh, push to talk so that uh, there is no feedback or echoing coming through uh, a microphone or stray microphone. Um, and if somebody comes in to the voice call, um, go ahead and just let them know, um, you know, mute, uh, or push to talk. Um, cause while I'm hosting, I don't have a hundred percent the, uh, um, ability to message everyone and tell everyone like, oh, you have to mute or something like that. So, um, please feel free to just, uh, moderate one another. We're all collaborators. We're all, um, uh, helping each other, you know, uh, do a good job. So, uh, yeah, let's begin. Hey, he's losing a lot of blood. Are you sure it's are you sure it's a good idea just to just leave him here? Of course not. But we can't back get back to the vehicle while the old guards are around. Well we can at least It'll be fine. We'll just keep him covered. Hey, help me move those crates. I feel like I'm slipping in and out of consciousness. Where am I? Why can't I open my eyes? Hey, don't worry. You'll be okay. Who? Shh. Just rest. We'll be back soon. I can feel him lift my head and wrap something tight around it before placing something soft between me and the wall behind me. That'll have to do for first aid. Okay, let's move out. Right! Wait, where are you going? Where... Something hard hits my forehead, causing me to jerk my head up. If my lectures are so boring, feel free to leave. I look at my desk. He threw a chalk stick at me. We're in the third row of the lecture hall, too. I don't know if I should be impressed or annoyed. Maybe I'm a little bit of both. Sorry, sir. I must have dozed off. I muttered to myself. Oh, sorry. I don't need you to tell me that. As a doctor, I'd hope not. I muttered to myself. What was that? Nothing, nothing. And with that, my professor scoffs and turns back towards the board, pulling a new stick of chalk from a box. What a geezer. Chapter One, Freedom. I pick up the bit he threw at me. If I had some more confidence in my aim, I'd throw it right back at him. Hey, I know what you're thinking. 
I turn to my right, to Deanna. You always seem to. It's not worth it. I know. You can get back at him by proving yourself on the upcoming test. Yeah, I forgot about that. The past few nights have been kind of a blur on account of... Were you a practicing again? Maybe. The a size at that, <sighs> to which I grimace. You know, you really nailed your impression of my mom. Well, what do you expect? You stay up all night every night. Who wouldn't be concerned about that? I know. I, I know. He's right, as much as I don't want to admit it. Sorry. I'm still just adjusting to this new program, and I'm trying to figure out how to weave in my own personal projects. Deanna pauses before placing an arm on my shoulder. No, don't be sorry. I shouldn't be nagging you. At least not this much. I laugh. <laughs> no, I, I kind of appreciate it. It shows you care. Well, I'm glad that's coming through. I always have been a bit of worried about you. <laughs> you and me both. At the very least, you seem to be absorbing a lot of the information being thrown at you. It's almost unfair how well you do on the exams with how little you study. It's all thanks to you. You've helped me a lot with figuring out my study habits. Clearly not enough. How much sleep did you get last night? Irrelevant. I'm sure. I draw it on discreetly into my hand, but I realize it wasn't discreet Ooh. enough as our professor whips around and zeroes in on us. I can feel Deanna's arm tense up on my shoulder, as if we got caught doing something promiscuous. Something I should maybe made aware of, you two? Well... Deanna stands up. Oh, well, you see, he was just helping me understand the new material about the frontal cortex. I was having trouble wrapping my head around it. She's trying to play it off. Oh, is that so? Diana, I expected better from you. and to not associate with anyone who could drag you down. I feel myself getting heated. Who the hell does this dick think he is? Would the fine gentleman like to stand up and share with the rest of the class? There are some whispers and murmurs across the room, all directed at us. I look in my peripheral. Diana has that, oh, I fucked up, look on her face. Still, I stand up. With all due respect, sir. Which isn't much. I'm aware you're on tenure. Don't think it's wise to force your job on your unemployed students. Or did you forget how much our tuition costs, along with giving a proper explanation on the frontal cortex? 
gasps erupt from the rest of the class. All right, this is going to be fun. Everyone can unmute and just go, <gasps> just inhale. <gasps> God damn. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my oh, good lord! Who is this guy? He, he Lord, he couldn't do that. Emotional. I feel hot in the face, but I'm keeping cool. I can't say the same for our professor. I think he just snapped his new ch stick of chalk in two. I can see him squirm to find some sort of legal retort. Tenure or not, I'm pretty sure throwing shit at me is grounds for removal. Maybe not, but I'm going to crack for it. But I'm not going to crack for the likes of him. I shift my hand to my hip. I'm waiting, Professor. Now he's the one looking red in the face, more so out of anger. I bet that's the most blood flow he's gotten in quite a while. He grumbles something about insulting under his breath before turning to angrily write with his now broken chalk. That's what I thought, asshole. I sit back down and take a deep breath. I'm not cut out for these kind of performances. Neither is Diana. We look at each other, somewhat mortified, before bursting out in laughter. <laughs> It's thankfully covered by the bell. I help Diana gather her notes. She has a real knack for organized chaos. I guess I've rubbed off on her as well. We make our way out of the lecture hall, still laughing. Glad to see you've been taking notes from Damien. Oh yeah? How so? Well, you were a pretty timid guy growing up. I remember having to beat up your bullies for you. To be fair, you were pretty good at kung fu. Damn right. He shows off a standard kick. I have to admit, I wish I had her coordination. What's your point, though? Well, let's see. How long have you been dating Damien? Hmm. I think our first anniversary is coming up? Oh, wait. Really? I need to plan something. Anyways. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't don't change the subject. Anyways, as I was saying, you were pretty quiet growing up. Sure, you kind of grew out of it a bit. But once you met him, you started getting, I don't know, more confident? What can I say? <laughs> better half. Give an exaggerated gay sigh, to which Diana snorts. <laughs> well, he certainly has left an impression on you. I guess being around the star of the college basketball team will do that to you. Oh my god, stop! Someone's gonna hear you. Try to shush her, but she just covers another laugh with her hand. <laughs> Guess you got some more confidence to build. 
Besides, weren't you on the Jumbotron together at the end of the last game? <laughs> I, I think I'm getting a phone call. Diana crosses her arms as I struggle to pull my phone out. She has a knowing expression on her face. I slide my phone on and hold it to my face. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. Yeah, no. School's going great. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. I'm still adjusting, but it's going okay. Uh, you want to read this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mike didn't mute. And then my phone starts actually ringing and vibrating in my hand, ruining my attempt at fooling Diana. Who am I kidding? Who'd be fooled by that? I think your phone is ringing. Thank you for telling me. I'll be picking it up now. I give a slightly annoyed huff as I actually go to answer a phone call. It's from Damien, and my face immediately brightens. Hello? Hey! Sorry to call, we're about to head out for our afternoon run, didn't have time to text. Just wanted to let you know, just wanted to know if we're still on for tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And yeah, I'll make sure everything's ready. You make sure to drink plenty of water, okay? Okay, you got it, dude. I'll see you at the cafeteria for dinner. <laughs> you know it. Love you. Stay safe. Love you too. The exaggerated smooch Damien makes is loud enough for Diana to hear. I almost cringe, but eventually do the same thing for him. I can hear him giggle before hanging up. I sigh happily as I stuff my phone in my pocket before turning my attention toward Diana. What? You guys are so cute! She's holding her cheek, gushing over us as she usually does. <laughs> it's true though. Ah, young love. Diana giggles again. And with that, we continue <laughs> our walk back to our dorms. So, what you got planned for tomorrow? <laughs> it's a secret. Oh ho! Don't get any ideas. Oh, I would never. I rolled my eyes at that before getting my phone out to show something to her. We're going to a show tomorrow. Oh, exciting. Kind of surprised. Didn't know you were into that kind of scene. I'm really not. But Damien was so excited that this band was coming to town. I, I couldn't say no. I paused. Also... I do want to get out of my comfort zone, even if just a little bit. I getcha. Do you guys need a DD? Mm, wouldn't hurt. You sure you wouldn't mind? Not at all. I got tomorrow off. I'll text Damien to let him know. Uh, thanks, Diana. I appreciate it. Of course. 
bit about this and that for a little while longer before coming to the split between the dorms. They're not co-ed, so we don't actually live together. Oh, before I forget, do you want to visit the greenhouse this weekend? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see how I'm feeling next morning. You're not going to have a two-day hangover. How about Sunday afternoon? I sigh through my nose. Can't get around it. Mm -hmm. I've been skimping out on helping Diana the past few weekends while figuring everything out on this side of campus. I'm already hanging with Damien Friday night, and I do owe her one now. There's really no excuse. Yeah, sure. I'll see you Sunday. Want to meet for lunch, then head over? It's date. See you then. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. We wave to each other as we walk down our respective paths home. As usual, I wave to the dorm mother. As usual, I skip the faulty elevator and take the stairs. As usual, I make my way home into my dorm room. I've only been here for about a month, but at least I've got this routine down pat. Being in the master's program has its perks. I call it a dorm room, but it's almost like an apartment, complete with a kitchenette. What's best is I have this place to myself. Well, mostly. Damien spends the night a lot, too. I toss my bag on the couch before grabbing a glass of water, promptly chugging it. I'm not used to the summer heat around here. As I strip off my overshirt, I look towards the bathroom. I kind of want to take a shower right now, but decide to do it at my usual time right before bed. I sleep better that way. I say that, but I'm gearing up for my afternoon nap without any distractions. I plug in my phone briefly lighting up the pic of Damien holding me up from behind as I flail in his grasp. I smile at it before flopping my face first into my squishy pillow, not even bothering to pull over the blankets. It's still a bit too hot for that. My eyelids start to get heavy, and I fall asleep for my afternoon nap. We're having a little scene change right now. Um, allow me to uh, say something real quick. Please bear with the ringing. Um, you guys are doing a really fucking fantastic job, and I'm so proud of everyone. <laughs> and um, I am going to be probably doing the break around uh, in about... 18 minutes, 18, 19 minutes. So at the top of the seventh hour for me. Um, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. Uh, this is just going to be a scene change and we're going to be switching over to a couple new characters. There's a strange ringing in my head. It's quiet, but just loud enough that I can't ignore it. I'm having trouble opening my eyes. How long was I out? It almost feels like a headache, but it's concentrated only in the back. Lifting my arm is a struggle too.
Wait, am I sitting? A groan escapes my dry throat. Uh, Leslie, uh, were we supposed to switch narrators? I think we were. Because you said 45 minute sections, right? Sorry. No, 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 it's no, fine. No, we're so good. We can keep going. Okay, good, good, good. Just making sure. How long have I been sitting like this? With all my might, I lift my hands up to my face and try to rub my eyes open with my palms. Wait, what is all this I'm feeling? I pull it and it tugs at my scalp. It's my hair. I'm not lucid enough to panic quite yet. Or maybe I am, and this is just a weird dream? In any case, after some more rubbing, I managed to crack my eyes open. I'm sitting in an alleyway I've never seen before. Even moving my eyes to look around is a struggle at first. I just woke up, but I already feel exhausted. I take a few breaths, which is somewhat alarming. I thought you couldn't breathe in dreams. Regardless, little by little, I start moving what I can. I can wiggle my toes and move my arms. I kind of need to move them as my hair is getting in the way of my vision. I can hold my bangs down to nearly my sternum. The length isn't what's most concerning, though. It's the fact that my hair is an almost unnatural shade of white. That aside, I try to feel around. I'm against a wall, and my next goal is to try to stand up. My joints pop like mad. Seriously, how long have I been sitting here like this? It should not be this hard just to stand up, but my knees are trembling. Nearly hugging the wall with my side, I managed to stand up, albeit quite hunched over. Something slides off me, but before I can look down to see what it is, I start to stumble. I jerk a bit as a wave of disorientation washes over me. My vision blurs. I can see stars. I feel dizzy, and I can't keep breathing steady. It doesn't hurt. Nothing does. Not even the sudden upchuck of stomach acid I expel onto the ground below me. I clutch my stomach as I fall to my knees, breathing erratic. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, but I feel like it should. I'm more confused than scared. I don't have enough time to process what little information I have as I throw up whatever is left in my stomach. It just smells like acid. And just like that... I'm back to sitting against the wall. I shut my eyes, but I can still see the colors swirling around the inside of my eyelids. Without any strength, I just sit there and pant. The taste of stomach fluid still comes up through my throat with each breath, burning my mouth. I heave again. But nothing comes out this time. Nothing but a guttural black. <laughs> okay. Okay. Calm down. <clears throat> Calm down. I say to myself, barely recognizing my own voice. 
Not surprising. It feels like the only thing to wet my throat in decades is my own bile. I clutch my head and try to control the spinning I'm feeling. After several minutes of trying to breathe calmly, my vision starts to settle. I still feel disoriented, but I can at least make what make out what's in front of me now. Again, I look around, trying to get my bearings. As no I noted earlier, I'm in some alleyway. I don't know where, though. Tilting my head up, I can see that it's night. The buildings around me seem to stretch taller than they should. I look further in front of me. There are boxes blocking the alley. They're stacked pretty high. I look down to the ground, and something catches my eye. Slowly, I bend over to reach over to it, not wanting to upset my stomach anymore, and grab what seems to be a jacket. It's pretty big. I can stretch it out far past something that'd fit me. I wonder who left this here. Were they trying to cover me? Another headache hits the back of my head, and I clutch the side of my face. Ugh, starting to feel nauseous again. I rest my head against the wall and immediately feel uncomfortable. It didn't hurt, but I could tell I shouldn't have done that. I reach for the back of my head. I feel bandages, and a lot of them, along with what I can only assume is crusted up blood. How the hell did I end up like this? The last thing I remember was... was... hanging out with Diana and making plans with Damien. I try to recollect more, as much as I can. It's all scattered, like a haze is blocking me from my own memories. Oh, fuck. I exhale with a haggard breath. I'm still hoping this is just a weird dream, because I can't even remember my own name. I then spend the next half hour alternating between doing breathing exercises and having an existential crisis. The more I think about myself, the more I realize I don't know who I am. I'm thinking clearly, but there's not much to think about. All I know is that Diana and Damien are very close to me, and I wish they were here right now. I feel a sort of sadness at all the things I can't remember. All of my relationships and experiences are just gone. One thing's for sure, this is no dream. Maybe it's a nightmare? If it was, it'd be the most boring nightmare I've ever had. I say that, but I'm still fairly spooked. I move past the notion that I'm dreaming, however. The sensations I've felt since waking up are too real. Even so, periodically I pinch my skin on my forearm. I can definitely feel I'm pinching the skin, but I don't feel any pain. It's 
basically numb. Same with the back of my head. That blow I must have taken did a serious number on me. It doesn't take a doctor to figure out that's probably why I can't remember anything. Speaking of doctors, I replay the memory of myself and Diana laughing at our professor. The only entertainment I have. Well, kind of. I also think back to that earlier memory. I've come to accept the fact it was real. Despite the fact that my eyes were closed, it all felt so visceral to the point that I can say that it happened. Someone mentioned my loss of blood, and someone else covered me up. Someone left me here, but who? All I have to go on is this jacket they left behind for me. It's simple enough, but I don't recognize the style. Not that I can talk about fashion. Better than what I have on. I can't tell if I'm wearing hospital scrubs or a prison uniform. Wish I had at least some socks. The more I wake up, the more re I realize how cold I am. I sigh. <sighs> Eventually, I look towards the other side of the alleyway. I don't think they could move those boxes easily, if at all. But I should at least try to look for help. I'm starting to get annoyed with my body as I struggle to do the simplest of tasks. I can hear my panting echo softly through the alley, along with something else. The sound of footsteps. I try to hold my breath. I think someone's on the other side of those boxes. Do I call out to them? Do I hide? Not that there's much room to hide. Whatever's out there starts pulling the boxes out one by one. I don't know what's in those boxes, but they don't look easy to throw around. They're just chucking them like it's nothing. I can feel my knees start to tremble. A chill runs down my spine, and my teeth start to chatter. Both my knees give, and I'm back on my ass against the wall. The fear is starting to get overwhelming, and my vision starts to blur again. There aren't many boxes left, and something starts to show between the cracks. A light. A flashlight. Before I know it, the ray of light is completely covering me. It's a task to lift my arms to block the beam, and even harder to keep them in the air. I was already struggling to move without fearing for my life. I don't think I can take much more of this. I'm getting overstimulated. I feel like I'm shutting down. Just as I start to succumb to my panic, the light suddenly shifts. Slowly, I open my eyes, peeking through the cracks of my fingers. Okay, I'm really sorry, everyone. Um, 
I will let this sit here like this. Really good reveal and all this stuff, but I do need a break. Um, I gotta go use the restroom, grab a snack. So please, everyone, feel free to unmute yourselves. We're gonna be taking a five or a ten. Oh my oh, wow. god! Oh my god! Oh, it's Awesome. Yes. 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 Love this. All the voices are so good. I love it. Percy, I love your Cyrus. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great, man. Yes. man, if I knew I was going to Cyber Cyberpunk 2077, I would have fucking went to China. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. oh, I mean, all our advances in modern medicine. All our advances in modern cake. medicine is we haven't figured out a way to make furries yet. Like, come on, what are scientists doing? Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I understand, I understand that you're mad, right? I understand that you're mad. And frankly, Genetic you're, you're just you're just not aggressive enough. We're just not aggressive enough. We need to take action to our own hands. What do you mean? I'm times. like totally aggressive and assertive. No, 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 that's how you do it. We need to stop, do it. We need to stop we, commissioning our sonas and start putting it in, I, putting that money into research. We 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 put that money into we put that money into arms. We put that money into arms. Major, I'd right offer to start trying to research it. I do want to go I do. I do want to go on the The man who has done nothing wrong. Kill him! What Kill you him! Mean? Cooper did nothing Put wrong. Him what did he do wrong? Put him yeah. to sleep. Sure. Cooper oh. did yes. nothing wrong. Sure. Name one thing no, he did he's, wrong. Yes, that is he's just a little guy. Cooper's a little guy. Oh my god! He did it. Iris, 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 I'm no, just kill the Cooper. No. You guys keep so speaking so over each other. Can't hear anything. I swear. <laughs> Every so, time you're gonna drink, you're gonna drink a shot. Who's gonna be narrating for? Um, who's the next narrator lined up? Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be the next narrator. Yeah. Hi, welcome back. We're killing okay. Cooper. Over Was there. you kidding me? Did I miss anything? Us yeah. defending Cooper. No, 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 it's not defense. It's not defending. We're killing him. If I want no, to we're not defending him. No, he did nothing wrong. Well, I mean, no, he did nothing wrong. wrong. What do you mean? <laughs> That's you know that my moral compass goes straight out the window as soon as someone's hot. Okay, like if yes, I, if literally. I, you have to have just and needs and a little bit of therapy and a shower. Being no. mean in video games, being mean in video games isn't fun. I always choose the good playthrough. If I wanted to be, I can't be mean, then it'd be serious. If I if I wanted a gun pointed at my face, I would just not take a shower. Like, <laughs> well, okay. Excuse me. Cooper okay. could like Cooper could hit me, and I'll just forgive him no. because he's hot. I'm sorry, no, what? Okay. Are you okay, Kate? Okay. Are you okay? You are okay. Okay, okay. 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 I might have made it's a one... mistake starting up the coop or did nothing wrong. Someone by the way, is in desperate need yeah. for some yeah. therapy. By the, way, by, the, by the way, Twitch, you can come join us. You can come join us at, uh, remember the Flowers Discord. If you're listening to this on Twitch, I'm so fucking sorry. You were having oh, yeah. this The plug. <laughs> I forgot we were still wait streaming. Oh, wait, oh, we're yeah. streaming? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hope you're watching. Hey, if uh, any federal agents are listening to this, I know these people, and I support them 100%, so come fucking get me, guys. Fucking hate you guys. <laughs> also, <laughs> some of the flowers, free on itch.io. Go download yeah, it. Yeah. Read it for yourself. Go download it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and subscribe to Patreon. Because... If you, yeah, don't, yeah. Yeah. If you don't subscribe to if Patreon, you find any of the characters so house. far, download it. This is a, this is not a threat. <laughs> supposedly. Nope. Not not follow Thine on Twitch as well it's, it's, and yo, subscribe. The funny thing about threads, the funny thing about threads, like you don't know if they're real or not. Give the creator a hundred dollars until it's too late. Oh. Like and subscribe. Is that is that a human trafficker? Snap his neck. Hope the day went no, alright for everyone here. By the way, just, no, I want to just ask all of you. That's a random guy off the street pointing a flashlight and a gun at you. Don't worry about it. Or, or at me, I guess. Don't worry about it. Chicago. Chicago? Yes, Chicago? it is Chicago. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs>
Detroit? Oh, actually, the correct answer is Milwaukee, but you were close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and then just like, like, just, just like everything else in this damn city, it's actually going to be filmed, filmed in Vancouver, I should know. We can't have shit. We can't have shit. No, 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 just... Oh it's God. New Orleans, guys, don't worry about it. Traffic? No, it's Detroit. He Living in, Vancouver is, living in Vancouver is so funny because I'll see if location are recognized. They'll be like, hey, that's Vancouver. And then I'll get rent evicted. So, uh, you know. <laughs> hey, 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 come join us oh, over here in Washington. Washington State. Washington State. To be fair. I'm going to tell you guys about that time I accidentally crossed the U.S. border and got stuck there for three hours <laughs> without my phone. Oh, yeah. Imagine. I missed the that's turn right. on the interchange and it led me directly to the border uh, crossing. And guess what? There should have been two roads that led back, but both of them were closed. So we had no choice oh. but to go through without our passports. And it was oh. kind of an awkward conversation. So, Did yeah. they shoot you? Uh, yeah, no, dead. Yeah, I'm actually a ghost. Yeah, it's because I'm immune to you from the ether. Yeah. See, uh, it's a, like, the, hospital's res the hospital's resurrected you, but I'm guessing it costed you a fortune. Wait, he's dead? He got sent to resume? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's in resume right now. What's it like there? He's in resume. He's in resume. Send help. How are you enjoying it there? It's their... I can't complain. Literally. You literally can't Oh my gosh, Mishmash, you're such a good example of how... of the chair. Oh my god. If you're dead, I need you to confirm something. Is Mark is after there? Please tell me what you're dead, Blink. Well, how is he supposed to blink? If Margaret Thatcher is dead, if Margaret Thatcher is dead, honk. I can assure you. I can assure you that. Oh my god. Someone honk. Whoever is this. All right. Where is the honk? Everyone behaving? I have a honk somewhere. No. No. I really. I enjoy the chaos. The closest thing I got to a bot. Never mind. Don't look. Don't look back at the bot. I swear. Don't look back at the bot. Yeah. Don't look back at the bot. We were very polite. Yeah, no, I, the, the funny thing is that you guys are kind of like similar raunchiness, but different vibes from Echo Chord, so I really like that. Uh, because we're all kind of like, most of us are more time. We should go over there. We're good, don't worry, we're being good. Just, just yeah, so you we, know, we Chris, the news are coming your way. Uh, they will be there in like 15 minutes or so. So, no, we, we, who's coming my way? The Patreon, so it's okay. Uh, the police. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, um, by the way, if I get if banned on Twitch die. and somebody uh, breaks TOS, uh, I will absolutely uh, immediately ban you. So sorry. So sorry. Yeah, you're you're not allowed to break the rules of the server. You're not allowed to break TOS for Twitch or Discord or you. YouTube. Nobody's allowed to do that here. Those are too It's it's a wrap up in here. So I can't read. I can't read. Oh, you know what? If uh, if you need help understanding the TOS, I'm gonna let my uh, friends in the chat go ahead and inform you politely in the DMs. I just said I can't read. <laughs> Oh no, I've just discovered that I'm uh, illiterate. Uh, I can't read any of this. I can't read. Hey, uh, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone give the give the dissidents uh, the electric chair. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they, they, they need to be they need to be well learned. They need to be polite. They need to not get me banned. <laughs> so if somebody <laughs> if somebody's acting up, you know who to talk to. You know who to talk. You talk to the mods. You talk to the staff. You know. You don't. You, you don't. Go to the the chair. Time out for you five minutes. Chair? Do not. Put, get the dunce cap ready. Do, and the do not put the health and safety of my accounts in the hands of people um, who uh, yeah. want to act a fool. So, I've so I've been able to do this for a year and a half. Uh, without any issues, and we're gonna we're gonna keep it that way. We're gonna keep it that way. 
You can trust us. Yes. You can trust us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm totally responsible and trustworthy. I am totally not wanted in ten provinces in one territory. Hearing you say, hearing some of you say, hearing some of you say that you are totally responsible and trustworthy, is like hearing a Cooper stand saying, "I am totally trusted and trustworthy with his exposed armpits." Cooper stand wrong. What are you talking about? That is not. That is not okay. <laughs> y'all don't know. Y'all, y'all yeah. do not know. Y'all do not know that I am not joking. <laughs> so I, I should not be trusted. I should not be trusted. Don't trust me. Cooper Please. stands in yeah. nothing wrong. What are you talking about? Exactly. Here's everyone. Yeah. Yeah. As a good first stand, I can confirm. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I've met I've met Brian Sands. So you guys have nothing. Oh, you guys have nothing. Brian Sands. 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 Brian Brian Sands. 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 Brian Thank you guys for your patience. I got myself a little bit of soup. Uh, hydration check. No. Everybody <laughs> should be well hydrated. You need to have a beverage next to you while you are reading, especially the narrators. Especially the narrators. I have three bottles of water here. Don't yes. you worry. I got milk. You need to keep that You no, uh, no, so, uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna start reading. Uh, who's the next narrator? It's me. I'll be muting now. Ryujin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's. Uh, no, gummy. <laughs> gummy. Yeah. Gummy. Ah. That's me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I can't see your voice activity. This this list is so big. All right. I, oh, Connie. There we go. I literally was like, gummy is in gummy bear. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yes, you're going to do fantastic. Uh, please begin reading when you are ready. All right. The person, no, the beastman holding the gun moves one step closer. Don't move. He says in a gruff, commanding voice. If I was cold before, I'm frozen now. I'm just sitting here, trying to follow his movements the best I can with with the little, with what little I can see. Through the slits of my fingers, I can. A certain one thing. He's a wolf, and a tall one at that. The wolf circles around me. I can see him clearly in my peripheral. You can see my face now, along with the terrified expression I'm wearing. Gone or not, he could rip me to shreds with just those claws. Not that there's much to rip apart. I don't stand a chance at running in my current condition. Hell, I can barely stand up. So I sit here. Waiting to see what he's going to do with me. He's a few feet away, gun still pointing at me. Upon closer inspection, he looks like he looks to be the size of a pistol, but it doesn't look like any model I've ever seen. The wolf shifts shifts his head, looking all over my body. My teeth start chattering again, reverberating through the alley. He walks up closer with intent. I shut my eyes. It's 
all I can do. This is the worst my breathing has ever seen since I woke up. I can feel my empty stomach churn and my dehydrated eyes strain to tear up. The only thing that pulls me out of my panic attack is the feeling of something soft under my chin. He starts to slowly lift my head with his paw. <laughs> his paw pads feel like worn leather under my chin. His breath is hot on my face. <sighs> no more than ever. No more than ever, I wish I was. this was just a dream. The wolf squints his eyes and speaks to me. I can't make it out as the ring in my ears is too loud. <laughs> His soul I can muster. The wolf closes his eyes before pulling his hand away. He sits in front of me. We are eye level with each other. Oh. He pauses once more before repeating himself again. Are you okay? I don't respond. I'm not in the right state of mind to. He seems to pick up on this. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. The wolf places the gun he was holding on the ground and slides it into the other side of the alley. See? If I wanted to, I would have already. That's one gun gone. What about the one on his back? My eyes veer to it, which he noticed this. Mm. I'm not taking that one off. It would be too much work. He states matter of factly before switching on to a crisis cross uh, to a crisscross position. You're okay. You're okay. He looks me in the eyes again before holding his paws apart in front of me. Breathe in. He pulls them closer, almost in a clapping motion. And breathe out. I'm slowly transitioning from panic to confusion, which I'd say it's an upgrade. For some reason, the inflection in his voice sounds weird. He's speaking English, undoubtedly, but something about it is off. I can't put my finger on it. Is it a dialect? Regardless, I do as he says and start to match my breathing with his with his movements. We do this for a while, but and slowly but surely, it seems to be working. With enough time and effort. And with the help of this wolf, I bring myself out of my self-induced panic attack. After one final deep breath, I've managed to get back to just breathing through my nose. I'm still breathing faster than I would like to, but it's a start. There. How are you feeling? 
He takes a deep breath as well. I guess that did take longer than it needed to. Tired and dizzy. I finally dropped my hands down for a moment before moving to hold my head. <clears throat> it feels like I swapped a panic attack for a headache. I'm not surprised. The wolf gets closer to me, to my head. Wow, I really don't like how close it's getting. You've lost a lot of blood. Gently, he holds my chin and shifts me to the right, revealing the back of my head. He leans in closer and takes a few sniffs. I can feel his breath again, and I start to get apprehensive. I instinctively pull back. Gentle or not, this really isn't helping with my anxiety. You're still scared. Uh-huh. He leans in again. I can feel the wetness of his nose on my forehead as he trails around my head before sniffing around some more. Uh, uh... Sorry. The wolf says bluntly before he pulls back. Habit of mine. Okay. What's your name? Yes, suddenly. I literally don't have an answer for him. Uh, uh, I don't know. The wolf doesn't seem faced by that. What do you know? Uh, I don't know. My emotions feel like a metronome, swapping between scared and confused at the drop of a dime. I'd like to believe he's right. If he wanted to hurt me, he would have that already. Now that I think about it, I don't think he could hurt me either way, on the account of not feeling any pain. Well, that's not true. He could break my legs, even if I couldn't feel it, it I'd be at his mercy. That flash of imagery in my head makes me shudder. We're here. His voice snaps me out of my imagination. He stands up and then moves near the alley entrance. I cock my head as I try to see what he's doing. The wolf waves a paw over his right wrist and a small screen lights up in front of him. It seems to be coming out of a bracelet he's wearing. I squint, trying to make heads or tails of it. Seriously, where the hell am I? We certainly didn't have this kind of tech back on Earth. Whatever he's doing, he's tapping furiously away on it with his fingers. For a moment, he places his free ball over his chin. He looks deep in thought. All of a sudden, he turns his attention back to me, looking me over once more before stepping away again. 
he waits. Then I hear something. A notification? Then he starts stopping again about for about a minute before sliding the screen away. Okay, can you stand? I'm going to take you home now. Uh... Here. The wolf... <clears throat> the wolf walks up to me before starting to get me on my feet. He carefully gets under my armpits and lifts me up slowly, trying to keep me stable. How's that? Wait a minute. I stumble nearby to my knees and he catches me. It's okay. I can carry you if you want. It said, wait. I raise my voice and the wolf's eyes widen a bit. Mm -hmm. I push him away, choosing to slump against the wall again. At least I'm still standing, even if barely. Who the hell are you? Where the hell am I? How do you know where I live? Even though my adrenaline from earlier has worn off, I'm starting to get hit with rising paranoia. I, I barely even know where I live. You can't seriously expect someone with a head injury to just <clears throat> go with someone they don't even know, do you? Hmm. I'd feist for someone with a head injury. The wall sighs before walking over, then oh. sits down in front of me again so that I'm looking down at him. I'm kinda glad he did. My knees feel like they're about to give out and I sit back down on the ground. I don't know how to explain this without, without alarming you. But you're going through a fairly common experience around here. Then he taps the side of his head. Barring the head injury. What do you mean? The wolf scratches the back of his head. It's best if you know as little as possible, unless absolutely necessary. That's a horrible way to build trust. I didn't mean to say that out loud, but I did mean it. I don't need your trust. I could take you by force if I really want... if you really want me to. The fur on his neck bristles and my fear spikes again. He flattens back down before rubbing the back of his neck. Relax. It won't come to that if you just cooperate. I'll say this. I've done this before, many times. And what? Taking humans home, amnesic or not. How do you know where I live? Mm -hmm. The wolf bosses. Do you know where Resume is? No. Should I? The wolf exhales. Almost in relief. Hmm. Whether or not you do, it doesn't matter with me. Resume is one of the 
in the few cities that's mainly just humans around here. Okay. So, where's <clears throat> around here? The wolf shakes his head. We can talk about that later. Honestly, we've dall dallied long enough. Just know that I have contacts here. Okay, there's a spa pointing to that weird bracelet. I've confirmed the meeting point to get you home safely. I open my mouth, to which he interrupts. And before you ask any more questions, I give a description of your appearance and they matched up with someone who's missing. Alright, we're going to be um, swapping VAs right now. Um, if the next Cyrus and Cooper uh, could come in and continue reading, please. This is fun. Hello. <laughs> happy to, happy to be job, here. Good job, everyone. Mm -hmm. Good job. Fantastic job. Fan fucking tastic. I'm pretty sure that you've you've been seeing how much uh, chat has been um, going absolutely fucking insane. <laughs> Just so you're you're doing great. Um, so uh, who is reading for um, Cyrus? That would be me, Mishmash. Ah, lovely. Um, and for Cooper. Where Cooper? Um, I am. I'm also gonna say uh, after my my narration, I'm gonna have to head out because it's quite late. Um, um, oh yeah. Up there, so y you do not but have to. Yeah. Wait. Just, um, Django. Just letting y'all know. Uh, <laughs> just would let you... you know the other, <coughs> the other chief of the Understudy is hmm? out due to family stuff right now. Um, oh, okay. So the Understudy well, isn't here well, either. Hachi is here. Hachi. Hi. Hachi here. Hi. Can Hello? I can I hear your voice real quick? Because uh, you might be reading for Cooper right now. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Right, deep breath. I don't Don't panic. You can hear me. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I have headphones on. I don't know if you can hear me well enough. Uh, well, it depends. The 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 does, headphones. Does everyone have a? Does everyone have a? Does everyone have a mic? So. Um. Well, what you can do is you can oh. let you can pass up. Like you don't have to read if you're not ready. Um. Like, for instance, Django, uh, are you wanting to continue reading if Hatchy doesn't feel ready or up for it? I would be honored, but I want to give them the chance if they feel they can do it. So, good, I mean, I good. can do it, I think. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, step out of my comfort zone. <laughs> okay, great. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, go ahead and give me, like, a check check on your mic real quick. You can check check. Uh huh. Keep going. Uh, hello. Uh huh. Just say like a line or a sentence. Oh, okay. Uh, like yeah. anything. Yeah, you can read what's yeah, on the screen actually. Anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, as Richard Nixon once said, "I'm not a crook." Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> say, say it. Say it. Say it one more time. As Richard Nixon once said, I'm not a crook. Okay, good. Yeah. We we are we are Sounds good on good. yeah, we are we're good on the volume. So um yeah, whenever you are ready, this is your line, so you can just go ahead and begin. And before you ask any more questions, I gave a description of your appearance and they matched up with someone who's missing. I close my mouth. I guess you have done this before. I'm kind of sur I'm kind of surprising myself. I'm taking all of this in way too quickly, aren't I? I guess when your head is nearly empty, anything new becomes acceptable. 
Regardless, I'm going to at least try to remain skeptical. How do I know that you're not just setting me up? The wolf smirks at that. Hmm. You don't. Why would you be able to do in your current situation if I, if I was, though? He has a point. I don't know where or who I am. I wouldn't be able to make it far. I sigh. I can't tell if my ears are still ringing or if there are alarm bells going off in my head. I resign myself. I really don't have a choice. Okay, fine. It's not like I trust you, though. That's wise. When you're anything to hurt you, you can count on that. We'll see, I guess. With that out of the way, the exhaustion is starting to catch up, and I scoot back to my familiar spot against the wall. I can barely stand up, let alone walk. Not to worry, impose, but you wouldn't happen to have any food or water, would you? The wall thinks it over before turning toward the alley, listening. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably have a quick bite to eat. Let me just... He walks over to the pile of crates and starts stacking them again, providing some decent coverage. There, that should be fine. I doubt anyone will go through the trouble to get through that. Besides you? Fair enough. Actually, that does make me curious. Before the wolf sits down, he plops the bag he had slung on his shoulder onto the ground. It looks a bit weird, almost like a violin case with its angles straightened out. Like an awkward trapezoid. Wait, I'm getting distracted. So, how did you know I was here? Hmm? Oh. The wolf taps his snout with a couple of fingers. It was faint, but I can smell you a couple of blocks away. He pauses. Well, your blood, anyways. I see. Well, why did you go through the trouble of finding me? The wolf takes out of what seems to be a canteen and places it in and places it in front of me, along with some kind of package wrapped in what feels like plastic. Afterwards, he moves to sit next to me against the wall. Let's take on a lot of odd jobs. I wasn't looking for you, per se. I was just in the area when I caught your scent. He takes his own package, ripping, them, ripping it open. Some kind of food? Oh, you should consider yourself lucky by the looks of it. You wouldn't have lasted another day or two. Looking over myself, I'd say he's right. I'm skin and bones with an empty stomach and a concussion. Now that I think about it, I'm kind of 
kind of surprised I've made it this long. Slowly, I lean forward to pick up the continuing thing. I can feel liquid inside, but I don't see a way to use it. It's a rectangular shape with no discernible opening. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What? He looks up from whatever he's eating. There's water in here, right? How do I open it? He swallows. Oh. He leans over and slides his finger across the top. A small opening appears. There. Got some nudges in it that should help. Just pick it slow. Mm hmm. I do as I'm told. Maybe it's because I'm so dehydrated, but this water does taste pretty rich. It's almost heavy. I choke on it for a moment, but swallow it down soon, not wanting to waste any of it. I smack my lips a bit, as if it's alcohol. You okay? Y yeah, just a bit strong. Just drink it slowly. I nod, a tad embarrassed for my lack of coordination. Regardless, I'm thankful for it for the drink. My throat even starts to feel better in just a few minutes. Not wanting to drink it all myself, I mimic what he did earlier to close the canteen. Hmm, you know. A second thought. The wolf reaches over and takes the package he gave me. I was going to take a guess that, judging by how you react to that water, you could use something a bit lighter to eat. He rummages once again in his bag before handing me a small parcel. That should be a bit lighter. It doesn't really taste like much, but it's got some protein. Curious, I reach over and pick it up. It feels like it's wrapped in paper, though there's no labels. Even with that little, str with what little strength I have, I open it fairly easily. What's inside kind of looks like saltine crackers, but brown instead of manila. I lift one up and smell it. It's like beef jerky, but only faintly. If I'm being honest, they don't look very appetizing. Bakers can be choosers, though. I take one of the cracker things and bite into it. Thankfully, he's right. It doesn't taste like much. A little salty and a bit sweet, but not much else. Definitely the texture of a cracker. I'm just glad I got something to drink. After a few minutes of eating, I look over to the wolf. He is enjoying his meal, at least I think he is. Man, how did I end up in here? Now that I have time to think, I realize something. 
I don't recognize this voice from the ones I heard before. I decide to speak up about this. Oh, right! I think there were people who left me here, but I can't really remember. The wolf looks over to me with a curious look. Do you remember anything about them? Uh, no. Not really. Just a little bit of a conversation. Probably right after I got this dent in my head. I bat the crumbs off, off of my shirt and hold up the jacket I woke up with. I have this, but that's it. The wolf looks it over before he grabs it from my hands and smells it. Then he scrunches his nose. I guess he didn't like how it smelled because he balls it up and tosses it and tosses it to the side. I think it'd be best to leave it here. Take my word. Oh, okay. I start thinking to myself. Whoever left that for me, I think they had my best interest in mind. Their voice seems seemed reassuring at least. Although to be fair, they did leave me here like this. I should be more careful, a voice isn't enough to judge a character. Oh, wait. What's your name? We had such a shaky start that I completely forgot to ask. My name? Hmm. He pauses and then sighs. Cooper, just don't tell anyone. Why? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? <laughs> to be fair, you're making it hard not to. Just eat your food. Okay. Once again, I do as I'm told. Sitting in this strange alley with this strange beastman, eating his strange food. I wonder how would Damien react to this situation if he were here with me? Bet he'd try to carry me so we could get as far as from this place as possible. A little fragment flashes through my mind of Damien giving me a piggyback ride. I think he convinced me to play basketball with him and he whooped my butt. I remember being tired, just not as much as I am now. I sigh. I really miss his piggyback rides. Alright. Um, we're having a narrator swap. Um, who's the next right. narrator? Hope you have a good night, Connie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. You're for great, Connie. Take care. Bye, Connie. Oh. Take care. Thank you. You're great, Connie. Take care. You did awesome. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank Take you care. all. Bye. See you all around. See you all around for the next session. See you soon. Good night. <laughs> Next narrator is here, right? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, who is the narrator? Uh, Platy. Oh, I didn't know you were going to narrate today. Yeah, I got assigned as narrator. Love that. Okay, just adjusting your volume real quick. Can you say a line? Um, hello. 
I like bananas. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's you're you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Okay, so your volume is good now. Um, let me see. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, oh, right. Um, so just for everyone's um, reminder, uh, whenever I uh, am asking, because I I can't. I can't spend too much time trying to pay attention to the massive list of people and scroll through it and see whose voice activates for like a split second. Um, so whenever I like I'm asking somebody, just just do me a favor and say what your server name is so that I can find you quicker because <laughs> the, the it, it, it would be really hard otherwise for me to be able to, you know, manage such a large group. Um, but uh, Plati, uh, I'm gonna ask you to wait one second. Uh, Mishmash, you're reading for Cyrus, right? I am, yes. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and continue reading when you're ready. All right, sounds good. I don't think this resume place is my home. It, it's not much, but I have some memories of where I lived. Oh? Mm-hmm. I just don't know how to make sense of all of this. I'm not surprised. I just know one thing. I really want to go home. Well, as far as I'm aware, Resume is your home. He pauses. Even if it's not, Resume is known for getting people back to where they belong. What do you mean? Well, Resume is a hotspot for humans, almost a sanctuary. I'm sure they could get you back to wherever you came from. I hope so. Cooper flicks his ear, his ear at that. I guess he can sense my de my de de oh my god sorry <laughs> I guess he can sense my dejection though I'm not really hiding it. Where do you come from? No, we worth mentioning. He dodges my question and stands up, listening intently. Hmm. I think it's time we head out. How are you doing? Uh, well, better, but I don't think I'm in any condition to move around too much. Can you walk? I grunt as I try to stand up. It wasn't much, but that combination of water and protein crackers is at least giving me enough strength to stand and walk a bit. Kind of, but... I don't think for very long, or far. Well, take breaks, and if it comes to it, I can carry you. Okay. I stretch, popping all my joints again, but this time it feels really good. Just glad to be my- just glad to be off my butt for a bit. I should mention it, when we're out of the alley. It'd be best to keep talking to a minimum. Why? Cooper's stance shifts, looking towards the opening of the alley, then back at me. There are people trying to find you, as we speak. And that's... bad? Very. I can't disclose much, but I'll say this. Your life will be a living hell if they find you. Maybe it's just because I'm getting more lucid, but I'm not really phased by that. That kind of worries me. So, wait, are you under contract? In a sense, as I've said, I've done a lot of ex escort missions. It tends to be easier the less people know. That doesn't sound skeevy or anything. 
Cooper looks out to the alley, then back at me. Look, there's a lot out there, and with your current mental state, I don't think it'd be a good idea to overwhelm you. Maybe. I don't know. I close my eyes for a moment, and take a deep breath. Being left in the dark ain't much better. You'll be fine. I'm sure you've been through worse. Wouldn't know. Cooper actually chuckles at that, before returning his gaze to the alleyway hmm. opening. Hmm. Gotta do this in a way that's not suspicious. I think I'll leave that to you. Didn't really offer. Fair enough. After about five minutes, he manages to remove most of the boxes fairly quietly. We're free to leave the alley. I'm both nervous and excited. You said we shouldn't talk, right? Only if absolutely necessary. Whisper if you need to. I'll probably hear it. Boy. Um, can we write? Do you have an axiom? A what? I'll take that as a no. He points to his bracelet. I can communicate this through this via text, but that's it. What about pen and paper? Cooper looks at me as if I said something truly bizarre. I don't know how to write like that. Wait, what? I didn't use them much outside of class, but I at least know how. Uh, okay. You do? Weird. What the? Like you're one to talk? I think to myself, grumbling. Oh, right. He looks over me again. I'm slowly getting used to that. What should I call you? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. The thought hadn't crossed my mind. What do I call myself? Cooper pauses again, thinking. Well, until you come up with something, I'll just call you human. Okay. Before we have, we officially venture out, we do a bit of cleaning in the alley. Cooper tells me we should try to avoid leaving anything behind. Sends that jaggedy toss. Thankfully, there's not much. Just the wrappings from our food and... Oh. I forgot Cooper's other gun. It'd definitely lead to trouble if we left something like that lying around. As I'm about to try and pick it up, I think to myself. Is it a good idea to touch something like this? Hey, Cooper, you left your gun over here. Is it okay for me to pick it up? Oh, good call. Yeah, safety is on. Just don't have to slide anything on it. Slide anything? On a gun? Okay, I know my motor skills are a bit rusty, but I should be able to pick up a gun without firing it, right? I gulp. I'm hovering my hand over it, inches away, before a yellow arm inv invades my vision. Relax, you're not gonna set it off. 
The wolf casually picks it up and even twirls it. See? Mm, if you say so. Here. Cooper then carefully takes my arm and plants the pistol into my hand. It's cool to the touch and smooth. It almost feels like a smartphone screen. My grip is firm on it, and I don't want to drop it. Still, I do turn it around slowly, getting a decent look at it. It looks cool. It's not what I would normally picture a gun to look like, though. Guess not. It's sleek, and pretty light. However, it's still a gun, and I don't trust myself with it. It's, a uh, neat. Here, take it back. Cooper takes it, and holsters it back at his hip. I guess giving you a self-defense weapon is out of the question. Would that be necessary? In your position? Yes. Why does whoever they are want me so bad? Classified. Figures. Ready to head out? As ready as I'll ever be. He takes out his bracelet, or axiom, and starts to tap away at it. Now that I'm close, I can kind of make out what he's doing. The screen is pretty clear, even while being somewhat translucent. I can't make out a lot though. It looks blurry. Almost as if it's censored. You can read that? I can. You can. He swipes away at the screen. No offense, but I'm not going to, re re going to register you in it. Uh, okay. Whatever that means. I'm going to head to the to a nearby plaza. It's late, but there should be a stop open. For what? I figured you could use a change of clothes. He grimaces. But I just got paid. You don't have to do anything. I'll manage. That's nice of you, human. But it's more out of necessity. Your current get-up would be suspicious to just about anyone. I look down at, at what I'm wearing. He has a point, although I'm not sure what kind of fashion they have here. If I could choose, probably something with sleeves. The scars along my arms and legs are kind of off-putting, especially to me. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah, I'm not the person to talk to ask about clothes. We'll figure it out when we get there. Okay. We both look at the alley, making sure it's empty enough. Alright, let's start moving. I'll go my sleeve or something if you need anything. And remember, keep quiet. Okay. With that, we make our way out of the alley. It's hard to tell what time it is. But, I'd guess it's after midnight. There's no one out on the streets, besides a few cars. Some flying cars at that. Okay, yeah. Maybe Cooper was onto something about the scary outside world.
What's more is that they're fairly quiet. Just a slight hum. We walk on the sidewalk. The material is somewhat warm against my bare feet. I can't tell what it's made out of. It feels weird. I really wish I had some shoes. Cooper walks along the street, keeping me somewhat close to the walls of the nearby buildings. Their walls look sleek and unnaturally smooth. If I had to guess, they look like the same material as that gun Cooper has. The surfaces just look like big phone screens, highly reflective. I don't look long though, not wanting to see my face. We make a block or two before I tuck that Cooper's sleeve. Cooper perks his ear in my direction. I whisper as quietly as I can. Sorry. Break? Sure. I lean against the wall behind me, taking a few breaths. I was hoping I'd last longer. The fact that it's the middle of the night doesn't help. I'm feeling pretty sleepy. Here, this should help. Before I can ask, he takes out his axiom. I think he draws a circle on the screen. As he does, the outline of a circle lights, lights up on the ground. With another tap, Cooper slides the axiom off. And a cylinder rises from the ground, stopping at around my cuff. Cooper must see my stunned expression. What's the matter, old man? Never been to the city before? At this point, I don't know if I'm more stunned at what he just did, or what he just called me. Old man? I'm like 26! I spit out in a hiss. Never seen a human that young with hair that old. You keep it down, would you? He's looking I'm sure, or else I'd call him out for provoking me like that. I stare at him, sticking my tongue out. I huff and sit down on my new seat. It's not very big, but it's enough for me to sit fully on it without sliding off. It's warm. Almost like a heated seat. Curiously, I glide my hand along the side. It's almost soft, in that worn plasticky kind of way. Handy. Cooper rests against the building while I take my break. He's tapping away on his axiom again. I try to look at it some more. I can see some pictures, I think, but that's about it. Looking around, there's not much to talk about in terms of architecture. Most buildings look the same, being eerily rectangular without much detail. The ones that don't look a bit older, but not in terms of architecture. I've never seen this style. They, they just look more worn out than the rest. Cooper keeps an ear out for the few cars that come our way, but he doesn't seem too worried. Not even for the ones a few stories above us. It's kind of scary seeing stuff like flying cars all of a sudden. I instantly think about a scenario where one malfunctions and just falls straight on me. 
Never the pessimists. I shake my head and stand up. Turning to Cooper, I give him the thumbs up. He gives me a puzzled look before doing it back. Albeit a tad weird, does he even know what that means? This no talking thing isn't going to work. I sigh before gesturing for him to lead the way. Thankfully, he understands that, and we're walking along again. Once again, I start to think to myself, I've come to accept that I'll be doing that a lot now. Seriously, this place is huge. It's a wonder how people don't get lost around here. There are signs here and there, but with all the buildings looking so similar, how do they make sense of it all? My thoughts get interrupted as Cooper suddenly pulls me into a nearby alley. What? He covers, he covers my mouth abruptly and huddles me against the wall. I furrow my brows. Where did this come from? Oh fuck, did he see one of those guards? I can't see anything out of the alley. Cooper is, Cooper is resting on his side now, blocking me. He pulls me against his chest, my scrawny chest against his built one. This is the closest we've been. With his paw covering my mouth, I can only breathe through my nose. I've never noticed it before, but this dog absolutely reeks. My eyes almost water. His musk is so overpowering. If the guards don't get me, the stench will. Actually, no. Guards, please come around the corner. Save me! They don't as much as I sort of wanted them to. I don't see them, but I hear the clamping of boots behind Cooper. When they stop, my heart drops. They pick up again after a few moments. Oh. Wait, I didn't read that line yet. <laughs> they pick up again after a few moments, their steps fading into the distance. When Cooper removes his paw from my mouth, I take in some fresh air as I move a few steps away from him. I glare at him and whisper in a hoarse voice. Rude. Sorry, we're getting close. They're not the only ones. I actually spit on the ground, getting as much of his musk out of my system as possible. You need a bath. What? Come on, let's go. You'd think with a nose that good, he'd have noticed. I don't even give him time to process that as I pull him out of the alleyway. <sighs> My bravado seizes quickly though, as I need him to actually lead me. We don't talk for the rest of the walk, and thankfully no other guards pop up. After another few blocks, Cooper points to a building. It's one of the only ones with a lit sign. Looks like neon. There. That's your place. I huff. Thank god my legs are starting to give out again. What is it? A clothing store. I think. 
You think? Well, I've never been. It was recommended on the Axiom. By who? Let's go. Okay. They cross that street quickly. Well, as quickly as I can. It isn't until we're up against the building I finally realize what's been so off-putting about this city. There don't seem to be any doors on most, if any, of the surrounding buildings. This building has some see-through windows above, but here at the ground, nothing. It just looks like a big wall of plastic. How do we get in? Hang on. He pushes me out of the way before taking out the axiom. This time drawing more of an arc archway on the screen. While he's doing so, an outline in the shape of what he's drawing appears on the wall in front of us. Once it connects, there's a brief flash of light before a new doorway has appeared. Hey, here. I have to open one for you. I can't go through yours? No, don't worry. It'll just take a minute. Uh... Before I can protest, Cooper heads into the boutique and the doorway shuts behind him almost instantly. It hasn't even been a minute, but the fact that I'm alone out in this strange world is giving me goosebumps. I rub my arms a bit, really feeling the lack of sleeves. Wonder why I can't feel pain, but can feel all of this. At least my feet are warm. These heated walkways are nice. I look around some, and I think I see a clock in the distance. Two forty six AM. No wonder I'm so tired. I yawn and rest against the wall. It's cool compared to the floor, which is weird to say that, say the least. Man, Cooper's taking a long time in there. I start to get worried. Looking to the clock, it's been several minutes. It's a door. I mean, a super futuristic kind of door, but it shouldn't take this long to open a door, should it? Starting to get antsy out here. I'm a sitting duck. I turn to face the wall and start to feel around before pushing. Surely there has to be other ways to open a door around here, right? What if you don't have an axiom? This all seems ludicrous to me. As I'm feeling around, the outline of an archway lights up. Before I know it, I'm falling face first into the boutique. I yelp and close my eyes, bracing myself for a plethora of broken bones. Instead, I fall on something sturdy and supportive. And smelly. I 
I look up and I'm mo- uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> and I'm met with Cooper's concerned expression. All right, guys, we're gonna end right here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can Ooh. y'all can unmute. Right, we Ooh. we need to congratulate everyone. Should have been muted. Y'all were down oh, bad at the RTM oh, reading night. Yeah, yeah, they were. <laughs> no, they were. My voice. I haven't I haven't seen that many horny people in one place, and, and I've been a fulsome. All right, like. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I am extremely fun with reaction to my Cooper voice. I'm I'm afraid no. to see the chat when we get to the bath scene. <laughs> oh boy. Well, considering that these new builds, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a hazmat suit just to wander in. Considering that these these newer builds have everything censored, I'm not worried about it, but. It's not gonna stop the thirstiness. Yeah. You guys preemptively have my permission to uh, post <gasps> Cooper Peen. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Cooper. Hey. Cooper. We, we need to we need to keep the eighteen up eighteen and up sprites for posterity. Hell yeah! Everyone it's purely for archival reasons. Everyone, you know, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone needs to um uh be exposed to the biological weapon that is biological weapon biological weapon is actually my name on grinder ended on with this discussion hey 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 there was there was one image that i saw that was literally like um a boy smell enjoyers when the smash players come into the room no 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 that is that is that is actually literally what would happen it would it would it would literally be like oh my goodness boy smell like i bet cooper smells like really good it's like strong but really good no you don't understand you not understand when you when you smell when you smell a smash player when you smell a cooper your eyes are watering they're watering. Oh, you just need to carry one of these on you. Not even. That's the difference. That's the difference. They're not even watering. Bleeding. Yeah. No, literally. I don't know. You guys don't know this, but medically, you can get a nosebleed from smelling something really bad, and that's kind of what would happen. Wait, Dang, really? Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm a riddle. Cause you, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta remember what smell comes from. <laughs> smell <laughs> comes from <laughs> volatile particles entering your nasal cavity and hitting your fucking nerve endings. All right. So I'm so glad my no, my sense of smell was completely fucked. They they have you know those volatile chemicals. They're gonna be all up in there having a party and being like, you know what? We should turn on these walls. Put something new up. Up. Get some wallpaper Brody. in here. Yeah. Cyrus is no Oh, yeah. Bad. No, 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 no. There, <laughs> there, there's there's this terrible chat that he hasn't showered for like three to 12 months. Yes. So oh, he, yeah. he hasn't showered in at he least hasn't... a few months. But it because oh, he, he has showered within the last year. So it's three to 12. So it's Why like can't he just hop in the stream. Like uh, apparently he just doesn't like water and he's also stupid and gross and awful and so he's a member. He does he does not to be he does not deserve to be loved and respected. You know, I'm all about gays, rights. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm all about gays, rights. I'm making him shower on a regular basis. I'm, I'm all about gays, rights, and wrongs, but bottoms don't deserve rights. Oh, hey, I did Why nothing to you. Wow. Well, I'm used to joke. having control that taken was, away from. I'm used joke. to having uh, control <laughs> taken away from me, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Without bottoms, your dick only goes in your hands. So respect them. 
Uh, I'm a woman, so <laughs> Good night, it's not a it's not an issue for me. Like um, bye, Leslie. Well, thank so you nice. so much. Bye. Um, bye. Bye. Thank you so much. It was lots of fun. Yes, this was an yes. impeccable, so nice. impeccable yeah. work. With all this, um, going as close and I will. Yes, get home. Yeah, a- after after <laughs> sessions, usually I hang around for a little bit, um, and talk to y'all, and you know, have fun and. You know, keep things keep things going. Keep the keep yeah. the vibes going. Um, yeah. Uh, however, I did announce this. Oh, Leslie's heading out. Yeah, Leslie did have to leave. Leslie did have to leave. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, um, oh. I do have some very very interesting and fun announcements. Uh, oh. Yes. So, um, <laughs> the announcements are: I have gotten the approval to start doing reading nights for Liar and Dawn Tide. Ooh! Ooh, Liar! Mm -hmm. So, you guys are gonna... Yeah, and so I will be running um, uh, Arches, Remember the Flowers, Liar, and uh, Dawn Tide. Hopefully, all at the same time. So... That's a lot. Yeah, it, it is it is going to be a lot, but um, it's not going to change the amount of time. Like, for instance, uh, I've been streaming since 3 p.m., so it's been over five hours for me. Um, and uh, because of that, uh, I actually, you know, I don't want to stress out my body. Ugh, you guys didn't even know this. Um, I was uh, paralyzed. My back was paralyzed yesterday, all day yesterday. So, oh, um, really? like, I had to call out of work. Oh, no. I was just asleep, just, like, not immobile. Um, for, for those who also don't know, I am physically disabled in real life. So it's, like, uh, it's, it's situations like that oh. where, you know, I'm very fortunate. I feel very fortunate that I have a handicap placard, you know? So, um, yeah, yeah I, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better today, though. Uh, thankfully, my back was not acting up, but I am feeling quite tired. So you guys can understand. Streaming for five hours yeah. takes a lot out in your body. You do have to focus really hard. True. <laughs> Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. We had a lot of fun though. True. Yes. Yeah. Oh my awesome. goodness. Literally, I, the amount. I think that was a successful first session. This yes. was okay. Yeah. I think so too. I'm yes. gonna be honest. Y'all did so great. Don't don't tell anybody else. But in my opinion, yeah. this is the first best first session I've ever had in my entire life oh, or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. No. no this oh, is this is genuinely. Oh, I was I was fully really blown away. You guys, you guys got the memo. You guys guys knew that you had to come out swinging you guys knew that you had to bring the quality you had to bring the acting <laughs> we had to bring the gouda hoggins and the groucho marks you know wow. uh the the, the, the really yeah this was this was really a fantastically impeccable reading nights and thank you guys so much I literally could not do this without you, and I feel very blessed to have each and every one of you in my life, because not only are you here to, you know, be a professional and and read and voice act and perform and stuff, um, but also... Uh, you're here to just hang out and, you know, have fun and talk and chat and, you know, just just really get into the vibes and get into the moment. And I'm I'm very happy for that. It's really fulfilling. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like the spirit of Rivian. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's very fun. <laughs> yeah. That... Oh, it's, it's been so fun. And I'm excited for uh, when yeah. I do my roles. Yes. yes. I, yeah. I'm, ex- I'm excited and, for when you do your roles too. And remember, <laughs> remember, roles are open to everyone. So you're not forced yeah. to stay on a character. Um, even if you do commit to a single character. So for instance, uh, I've had people before who like they commit to voicing Cyrus, the main character, for instance, and then, um, uh, not not Cyrus specifically, just the main character in general. And um, then yeah. one session they'll be like, you know what? I feel like doing something different. Let me do narrator. Let me do um, a different character completely. Let me let me be the one that does the sound effects, right? And um, I'm always open to those kinds of things. This is a very creative space. 
and we're open to changes at any point in time. And I know that's a bit hard for some people, but you know, that's just part of the the beauty and the art is like this this is this is an expression. This is an artistic expression, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, I really I really am blown away. Mm-hmm. I think I think uh hearing uh Plati, hearing um Percy, hearing Django, hearing uh Mishmash, uh hearing uh that was uh Connie hearing um uh, let's see, Aqua. Oh my goodness. Just I, I, Django and his hot open voice. Yeah. Django <laughs> Django, you're literally you're single handedly ending the draw. Yeah. You're, you're not you're yeah, Django. Yeah. Oh my Bro, god. Like, no. Bro's like like ha- made right Cooper right Simpson. Now. Raise I said right. your voice works so <laughs> right. well. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you yeah. slid out of your chair. Django, you know. Raise my hand. Yeah. 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 There. So that's, that's going to be. Uh, I, I think it's going to be very impressive going forward because we're going. I personally, my favorite characters to hear voiced are. Um, Cooper and Ring, so very near and dear to my heart. I'm very excited for Orion reading for Ring, yeah, like for instance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or Cooper. That, that's the only person I hear for Ring. Yeah, no, uh, Orion, literally, I cannot yeah. think of another person yes. who is a voice, um, but as I've learned uh, hosting reading nights, uh, I am always surprised i am always perpetually surprised exactly the same way that i am tonight um i always hear people take new takes on characters new ways to read a line new ways to act a scene and i always walk away being like damn that was so good that was out of left field i've never anticipated that never expected that and it's just uh, i i i just love what i do (laughs) Honestly, we're thankful, that you're able to, we're thankful that you were able to set this up because I remember yeah. going to the one. Oh yeah, NFL, definitely. Because I was there, like second row to the left or something like that. Oh my god! I remember watching this, and I was like, oh, this would be so cool if like if we could do this. Like, oh, this seems so much fun. Too bad it's a one-off. Percy, my heart. <laughs> yeah, now right now. My heart. Oh, I really wow. love that. Yeah. No, if if I see you in person, I am not a scary person. I I am very friendly I, and I love getting <laughs> hugs and interacting with people, talking to people that I've met online. So, you know, never feel shy about that kind of thing. Um, I don't have the money to do that anymore, unfortunately. Neither do I. Neither do I. I am so broke. <laughs> I am I'm very much, yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> but, you know, uh, a girl can dream. Uh, the queens, the dolls need the doll hairs, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. Mm-hmm. And so, I remember you, um, huh? uh, you announced it on Jericho's uh, stream one night, and then uh, <laughs> a few days later, you put in the announcements, and I, I was like, okay, about the shave, and then saw the announcements. I was just running all over my room, excited. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, my goodness. Literally, last week was... I was sweating bullets. I was... I literally... Even though I was, like, asleep for more than two-thirds of the week, um, every waking moment I spent corresponding, organizing, setting things up, doing... And it was like, damn, I really did that. I really pulled it off. And I couldn't have done it without Leslie. I could not have done it without Leslie. I could not have done it without Seb. Um, Seb DeKelly, uh, I think, is the username. But basically, is like, you're going to see these people around a lot more. And um, right now, we're currently in the talks of making, like, an official name for Reading Nights and stuff like that. So I think that that's really cool. Yeah, I, I'm very I'm very excited because, like, Reading Nights is punchy, right? Project Astos yeah, is punchy. Flowers. Um, but Project Astos Reading Nights? No. That is not the move. So we got to come up with something Ooh. new. We got to come up with something better. Read the flowers. 
Read the flowers. Remember the flowers. <laughs> Listen, the I... Book club. <laughs> the, Memorize and regurgitate the flowers. Uh, reading notes happen weekly. Um, so you never have to go too long without it. That's for sure. Um, and we will announce cancellations. Uh before or during a stream um there have been instances where it's like we've had to end mm -hmm. early um there have been technical difficulties like i i remember mentioning that uh i had a i had a moment where my laptop literally died and i had to wait like two weeks to get oh. a part in before i could oh. solder it oh, no. you know <laughs> Um, and so it's just it's just stuff like that. We will we will be communicating very openly openly with everyone, um, and it's it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do a really good job. I, I have very 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 good feelings about this. I'm very pleased yeah. with how. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean. yeah. yeah. I'm very yeah, yeah, pleased yeah. with how uh, much more adaptable this game is to voice acting than um, Echo uh, or Ad Astra. Um, that's the reason why I'm creating Ad Astra fan animated with my colleagues because. Um, there's a way to enhance it to this level, the same way that the same level as uh, reading the flowers. Or, 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 remember, yeah. the flowers. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The same thing as remember the flowers, and um, uh, it, it, when you elevate an experience to that level, that's when the voice acting is really going to sell itself. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes, please. Please ask questions. Um, can you quickly Im implant your personality into every single manager? The wives you bring are absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. Um, please. I, I wish I could do that. <laughs> I have interacted with many a manager that I um don't like <laughs> literally literally this is a fun story uh very recently i had two instances in, to, in which i tried to go to the uh, genius bar at an apple store um one time i was like oh it's boot looping battery's dead let's replace the battery the other time was i my ipad screen got cracked just like right on the edge so it wasn't like that big of a deal but i was like okay let me get an express replacement um actually you know what i am very much interested in voicing crystal because i think i can do Yay. i can do i can do the voice anchor yeah. boss ass oh, bitch yeah. voice you know Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> You're gonna serve well on it. Yeah, oh, I, queen. I am so excited to dunk yeah. on a uh, dunk on silver. Truly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm ready to be his oh, mother. My favorite edgy boy. <laughs> yes. Hey, quick, quick, quick question. Yeah. Can, can we name it? Can we name the knights? Remember the flowers, the musical, and have the art style look like this. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, my. I got queasy looking at that. How could you? Oh my god. So. <laughs> the. Okay. <laughs> um, so, to, to, finish, to, finish, to finish my story, uh, the thing that ended up happening. Uh, literally both times, the store manager came up to me and was like, um, we won't be doing that, actually. Uh, and I was like, why not? I literally have, you know, Apple Care. I have the, the contract. I did a service. I've done this before. What's the problem now? And the store manager would just be like, um, yeah, we're just not going to. Even though it says in the contract, even though it says in the terms and conditions, um, yeah, we're just not going to do that. You're not getting a refund. You're not getting a replacement. You're not getting anything else similar. No. <laughs> Literally. What? And I was like, you guys are going to get sued. You guys are going to get sued really soon. <laughs> That's when you call corporate. Oh, they, do, they do not have a corporate. 
They do not have a corporate. It's 1-800-MY-APPLE. Yeah, it's 1-800-MY-APPLE. I was literally (laughs) referred to legal. I was told to call 1-800-MY-APPLE to to specifically like, oh, you know what? Um, It sounds like you have a complaint. Why don't don't you call uh, 1-800-MY-APPLE, putting the hair behind the ear and just being like, yeah. Uh, They were just trying to get rid of me. It It was awful. It was really awful. Yeah. What the Man, fuck? my store has a corporate and like they don't listen to anyone. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is that like I, I know that they're going to get sued because as um I'm pretty well read on my rights, especially as a consumer. And um in California specifically, uh you are required to provide um points of contact, direct points of contact to address um uh, issues regarding furnishing warranties, providing service, and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, you guys are denying this, and therefore you're liable to get sued. So, you know, fun times. Oh, fun people, times. Well, they, they have the mm-hmm. corporate money you lawyers. Casually breaking the law. It's so slay. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, oh. that's my life. That's uh, <laughs> I get I get to do this. <laughs> Uh, this is this is my job. I'm so happy. I'm really glad that this is where we've gotten. We've come so far. <laughs> mm. Thank you, VJ. Yes. By the way. Uh, what? For, 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 thank you for what? Moral support. I heard you in the background. You can't lie to me. <laughs> Girl, I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Man, I really tried. I really tried to hold back the giggles, but it possessed me. Oh. As, as soon as as soon as you tried, as soon as you thought, as soon as you believed the idea of apologizing to me, as, as soon as that concept crossed your brain, I I, I couldn't. I, I got possessed. I'm sorry. Yeah, and no, you I'm deserve you deserve to act a little silly Very sometimes. Fun. I really believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all Let's deserve treat. to be a little silly sometimes. Let's be honest here. Half of like, mo- we're all like most of us are gay dogs, cats, and whatever else on the internet. I'm we always tiger. deserve to be silly. I'm tiger. What? Yeah, and you know, I'm I'm really, tiger now. You, you know, it's really silly. whatever else. All of us here. I I don't know. Have I told you guys that I'm actually not a furry? Isn't that weird? I, really? I was gifted oh, my persona. Change that. No, I, uh, yeah, you're I not one of us. Uh, you're you're an furry. Oh, no, no, no. We okay. accept you uh, no, no, no. Here, here's, hey, here's the thing. I'm just glad you I'm not a furry. I'm, I'm, I'm not a furry. But I am a monster but, fucker, and we we do join in hands. Hey, we do oh, join oh, hands, oh, and we do. Oh, we see oh, each oh, other. It's very, it's very simple. It it's, it's, very simple. It's, very simple. Okay. it's very simple. Uh, time. No, very because simple. this is a joint operation. Yes, this is a joint. The monster fuckers and the furries are united. <laughs> it's a militia. It's a nice big coalition. Okay, federation. You know what? You no. saying the word militia, no. everyone gets guns. I'm Oprah now. <laughs> Y'all are... Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> Everybody I'm my gets guns! I'm practicing my second amendment right. Yeah. It is, it is I'm, your second amendment right. I've got my, here, I swear. I've got my second yeah. amendment right, and I'm not even American. That's how powerful this alliance is. Yes. yes. Exactly. <laughs> No, seriously. Okay. You you could oh, literally cool. say uh, this this oh, one um, blonde bitch living in Southern California <laughs> told me it was okay for me to buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in America. You can just buy a gun whenever you want. Yeah, it, yeah. You can handle the American. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm armed and ready. Trudeau American. can't take these guns. Ugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but I heard it. I heard it. I, I can you, imagine. That was a very well, vivid. Well that was a very vivid flex. It's... <laughs> I've done a good job then. I'll see you on the battlefield. Mm-hmm. So, I've dug a few trenches. Battlefield? So. No, I'll see you on the training ground before then. I have to answer <laughs> the call <laughs> of duty. You know. Good luck oh, on the battlefield, no. Fuck, sorry. Mish, you're, you're not helping. 
the dad joke <laughs> allegation. It's no, uh, what did you just say to me? I'll have you know I have over 300 confirmed kills and I am, you know. <laughs> how does the rest of it go? <laughs> what did you say to me? Wait again, you little bitch. What did you say to me, you little shit? I'll yeah. have you know I graduated <laughs> top of my class of the Navy SEALs oh. and I have over 300 confirmed <laughs> kills. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Django. Django. Django, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm very, very sorry. I have to, I have to pick your brain for this. What Welsh accent are you talking about? Welsh? No, I'm just saying I don't know what a Welsh accent is, so I'm just facilitating in my mind what I think it would uh, be. Even better. Gotcha. Give your best shot. No research. Just you're, vibe. Let's, let's do it. Let's do a trial run. Let's do a trial run. You're, Try you're, it. you're ready for that task <laughs> failed successfully. It's <laughs> like, give me a line. Just look at Blight. He has a Welsh accent. <laughs> <laughs> like I forgot the main ca main character's name. What's his name again? Richter. <laughs> oh, Richter. No, oh, Richter. Oh, yeah. uh, how are you? Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't have a line. If I had a line, I could. I can't just think of a line. Uh, oh, yeah, like that. that that kind of that kind of ad libbing yeah. and improving is actually pretty difficult. By the way, you guys did fantastic jobs acting. I'm very, very, very <laughs> proud and honored yes. that I get to, you know. <laughs> we tried our best. Yeah. Not, I I cannot accept that. I will never accept it. But thank you. Everyone, <laughs> hey, 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 y'all, y'all, y'all in the chat. Um, Percy, electric chair. Oh, 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 what? Percy, hey. Percy. The, hey, hey, you know the what? Of y'all did fantastic. No, no, no. The electric chair is a no, metaphor. No, no. Um, everyone needs to show Percy some love to the point that they have no choice but to accept it. <laughs> they have oh, no choice no. To, but yeah. to feel yeah. like they are loved and appreciated. No and that they have, stand. yeah, we have no choice no. but to stand loved, loved and appreciated. Yeah, exactly oh, here. When you said yeah, metaphor, I was thinking you were talking about like five minute timeout in the corner. No, what did I get myself into? No. <laughs> oh, Percy. Percy, great. Percy you're gonna end. You literally, you literally are going to end up on the other side of this, loving yourself. I promise. I promise. Self, self loathing in my voice chat. No, that's not happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that shit out of you. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Good, 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 good. It's I, I just, I love that. It's so funny because genuinely, um, whenever I, I, the, my my one of my best friends, uh, Seb, Seb, Seb De Kelly, uh, he, uh. Is oh, yeah. like the biggest self lover <laughs> of all time, and it's like e even from when I first heard from him or spoke to him to now, night and day, night and day. It's like, ah, I really do get compliments. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, I that's how I felt when I joined the server. I was just like, my art's so terrible, and then I shared it with a few people, and they were like, it's so cute, and I'm like, oh, I like it, people like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people like me. That is how they really you. like me. I... <laughs> 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 I can't wait to look back on the VOD oh, yeah. though. This is gonna be so. This is gonna be so much fun to just. It's gonna be fun to watch it again. Yes, know. and you know what? I will be sending the link to this VOD specifically to Jericho yeah. and Orion because this is a very jam-packed and very efficient read. Uh, we did a very, very, very good job tonight. So, um, thank you all. You did a great job. Um, I'm definitely gonna get going now because my bed is calling me and I need to lay down. So the last thing I need to say is I am, the last thing I need to say is I am not sorry for starting a shipping war in the chat. No, no, no. <laughs> you what do you mean that the casualties are in the dozens? You haven't hit here what you've done. <laughs> the the things I, I just really was, okay. we're on MREs and it's full on trench warfare and then we got trebuchets and catapults. I saw a ballista. It's a it's a mess. Listen, it's a mess there. If there is not if if there is no shipping drama in the chat, what are we doing? 
Exactly. I want I want the chat to be going at a hundred miles an hour, literally, and for people to be frothing at the mouth. It just shows that everyone cares about the VA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Literally. But how you fix a shipping <laughs> war is to just have everyone be in a polycule. No no no. Sh- shipping wars are <laughs> valid and we do accept them in this house. So they, they so the the thing is that um I've been in fandom for a long time. I've been in a fandom for a long time since like 2000 2001, you know. What the Yeah, so <laughs> it's like you've been a, you've been in fandom longer than I've been on this. On this Haven't even been born that time. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, I'm not that old, I'm but I am old. So, <laughs> um, Dang. the 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 funny thing is that like uh, the it's thing it's that cool. you learn here's here's just a random piece of wisdom is like the thing that you learn is to not take what other people say about the characters that they love and the situations that they are interested in experiencing through like reading or uh, playing a video game. It's like, you cannot take that personally. You really just have to let bygones be bygones and let people do their thing because if they're not hurting anybody, they can go off and be their bad self, you know. That's that's not. Yes. Yeah. And and I'm very pro that, especially in my own VCs, my own streams, because at the end of the day, um, that makes me happy. I don't care if somebody's simping for Cooper. I don't care if somebody's simping for Brian. I can judge you. I can criticize oh. you. I will. I, judge you. I will. Oh. I will judge and okay. criticize and shame and Not humiliate you. Can but can I ask you <laughs> what? I'm a king yes. simp. What does that say about me? Uh, <laughs> Oh is this is this <laughs> Marshall? Oh, yeah, Mario. Is this Marshall speaking? I want to hear Marshall. Wait, what? Is was this oh, Marshall speaking or was that someone Marshall. else? I think no, it, was that was, it was someone else, not me. Was it Latte? I, I was saying yeah, I'm a king simp. Everyone else needs to be me. quiet. Everyone needs to be quiet. Who was the person who was trying to ask me a question? Me, okay. Just me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I know that your your volume was very low for me. So, um, can you repeat your question, oh, please? Sorry. Yeah. If you if you're gonna judge everyone, what's your uh, superior opinion on the best character to simp for? In Remember Ooh. the Flowers. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's still that's easy. So. <laughs> That is so easy. Truer words have never been spoken. Yeah. yeah. So our here's edgy boys. Here's, edgy boys here's my controversial opinion. Um, the reason why Silver is the best is because he is a um very like he's got attachment issues for sure, but he's he's a non problematic mercenary. Uh, Ring on the other hand, (laughs) Ring on the other hand (laughs) is like he's a very loving and dedicated and um, what do you call it? Like a selfless type of person. Um, It's just that he's a simp, and I just relate to him. And it's like, yeah, he's hot, but. You know, if I could, if if Ring and Silver could both be my boyfriends, I would be lit. I would be very <laughs> happy. The Silver Ring The Silver Ring goes around your fingers, signifying the two that you have entranced. Oh yeah, yeah no, no, I have two Silver Wait. Rings on my finger, literally right now. I love that. Oh well, there That's you go. Cool. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Very <laughs> good. But no, it's, I, I genuinely do some, and it's funny because I'm taller than both of them, <laughs> so <laughs> it's like I would, I would, I would have my my two shorter boyfriends, hypothetically speaking. Um. Anyway, I'm a Fujoshi. <laughs> I'm a very proud Fujoshi. <laughs> All right, Saya. The, the, a, a real Fujoshi, not 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 the not, not the 
I'm not no, problematic. Yeah, I'm not cringe. I genuinely just no. love men who are in love with me. I'm cringe and I embrace it. Yeah. Who would love you, men? I'm an, I'm cringe and I'm annoying as hell 24 seven and I embrace it. Mm -hmm. I really love you for that. <laughs> <laughs> we just make sure you shower at least. Oh God. Don't be a Smash player. No, I'm right. not Cooper, Smash don't, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> convince Good. him. Please convince him to you shower. You guys are, you're going to have to convince us that you don't reek. <laughs> you're gonna have to take oh, selfies yeah, from inside of a running shower. That's what you're. We need to perform to a do. sniff test. Like, get over here. Mm -hmm. We need. We need everyone's nose. I showered just today. Well, okay. Don't worry about okay. That. All right. Prove it then. All right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I need. Rec I need recommendations. So actually, yeah. Do send a picture of the conditioner. Everyone's told great. me that my hair is super soft, great. so whatever. Good. Um, you know what? Thank That's you, great. Eugene. Great. I actually forgot that um, his name isn't Silver. It's, his name is Talon. So I will be trying my best oh. to refer to people by their code names until they are introduced. So uh, yeah. just yeah, just keep every, that in mind. Everyone just ref Everyone oh, refers to like yeah. Cooper as oh, Cooper, so <laughs> yeah. But the issue like, we all know his real name. Yeah, but the issue with Cooper <laughs> is that oh, he's yeah. actually trash. So you could literally be like <laughs> that <laughs> awful, <laughs> that awful character, okay. that bitch, that stinky, oh, smelly hoe, yeah, and everyone was so know who you're talking about. Characters. Yeah, I feel like yeah, you have some resentment. Just, it's just let it out. Just let out your anger. It's okay. This we do not. Therapy. We do not stand human traffickers. We do not stand no, abusive assholes. We do not stand. No. We do not stand what? smugglers. We do not sm uh, stand uh, criminals. You know, we don't do none of that. None of that. You, you, saw my tier list. you saw my tier list and saw that um, Dario was like very high up, so no. I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked as a person. <laughs> no. and, uh, he's hot, okay? He's hot. You're allowed to have no. You're allowed to have shit tastes. You're allowed to have shit tastes. Bro, you gotta Bro, you got a Wait. sadism kink at home. Damn. Probably. Wait, no, 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 no. Sadism is when you like hurting others. Masochism is when you like getting hurt. <laughs> oh, me, I'm masochism. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. Um, so, uh, the, the, the thing is, I do think Cooper is attractive. Um, not in, not really in the game, though. Like, uh, Ring and Talon are way hotter than him. Facts, though. Yeah. <laughs> Way hotter, way I, hotter. I will admit, though, I, I have I have scene. Gooper's I have Gooper's pillow, and damn it, Gooper. I'm so surprised they have not made a Cooper plush Cooper. yet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just gonna, I'm gonna buy. It. Just might give him my fucking on next design. <laughs> the thing they, they need. The thing about <laughs> Axel is that he he genuinely is one of the best characters. He's just not my type. You know, other people can love him okay, more than yeah, I can. Okay, yeah, I get that, yeah. I get that. Right, yep. Like, <laughs> he's cute, I like him, I like him a lot, but it's just like, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Same with me, he's like my number two favorite. My favorite is Rose, she's very fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So when I was awesome. reading- So many people sleep on Rose. When I was oh, reading oh, RTF oh. by myself, I genuinely believed that uh, she was like top two, yes. probably top three characters. Um. <laughs> The, <laughs> the what was the thing I was trying to say? Uh, da, 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 da. The thing about Axel is like he he he's very good for people who like bellies and kind men, people who cook, <laughs> you know. Um, and you know i can i can relate to that you know i have i have gigantic fucking titties i love to cook for people like it's it's <laughs> oh. yeah no like no, seriously what a way to humble brag it's, it's what a way to humble brag it, no, no 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 it's an issue it's an issue i had the yeah, right. me me being exceptionally well endowed 
is not a humble brag. That is that is an issue. I am physically disabled. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just because I have massive titties does not mean I'm a, I'm not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm having so much fun talking to you guys. Thank you so much. Same here. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm enjoying it. We all did great. Hey, look, I'm just gonna say, I'm just, I'm just gonna say, you're, you're, you're living up to your pro profile. Oh yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so Ice Fang, if you can, uh, is Ice Fang in voice, voice chat right now? No, not yet. No. Um, hopefully Ice Fang gets into the voice chat. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait for him. Um, but you, you'll be able to hear his Axel, which I'm sure everyone loves. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Wait, Axel. hand, hand, hand. Was Ice Fang the one at the convention? <laughs> At MFF? Yes. Yes. Yes, he was. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Um, I yeah, y'all y'all have my permission to directly Ooh. tag him and be like, oh, we want to hear your Axel. Um, but Ooh. basically, Axel. Is yeah. there an odd for that reading somewhere? Yes, the, that is on my YouTube, on YouTube channel, which is also in my Discord bio. Okay. So please feel free to open that up. My, uh, my, my Twitch is Thine Death. Because it's like gaming oriented, and I, you know, I've had that for like twenty years. Um, and mm. then uh, my YouTube is thine mm. truly, because that is, you know, my personal channel. <clears throat> Thank you for the awesome. link. Thank you for the link. Yes, we put a lot of work into that video. Um, that I'm just playing a game. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Uh, a game of life. <laughs> we're, we're... A game of life. The game of wife. Shit, I said wife, but okay. <laughs> Can't be that bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love his work. Yes. <laughs> and the. I just have a full folder saved to remember the flowers. The game of. Actually. That, oh my goodness. That is such a fucking good idea. I, I need to disable uh, streamer mode so that I can see your name. Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> uh that is that is a thine one and only yes so uh thine truly is a pun <laughs> mine means you. yours so yours truly <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, some man. somebody somebody tell ice fang yes right now oh yep um but uh what was i gonna say um oh. Something about my channel, something about streaming, something about Pearl. Oh, yeah, Pearl. Um, my friends say I act like her. Oh, girl. Um, because my my personality actually, like, of mm. course, you can't really get like a solid read on that when, when I'm acting, you know, voicing. Um, mm. But my personality is very. Um, eccentric i guess is the best way to put it uh people say that i'm very verbose so you know that's that... a good word wow. verbose yeah so sorry my friends very my friends pearl. have compared me to both pearl and amethyst so do you like have a, mm. do, you like have a do you have a woman with pink hair that you stalk or something stalk? Yeah. ice fang says that he can't or i'm sorry but bro, bro. right now yeah, no, uh, I, 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 I see that message. Uh, okay, cool. Bro is such okay. a stalker kind of person, I'm just gonna say. She's oh my god, she's stalker. so me core. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Who are you stalking and how can I help them? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think you all misheard me or just like are judging for something. I'm gonna gaslight you. I'm gonna gaslight you. Um, can somebody repeat their question to me, please? Uh, there was a question. Okay, good. Just making sure. Uh, that's what. That's what. That's what I. That, I. I just thought there was a question. But yeah, the, if you guys didn't see the photo earlier, yes, I do have five windows open, 
And yes, I am looking at all of them. And yes, it does feel like I'm playing a drum oh. drum kit right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you sure you're not gathering evidence on somebody with those five screens? On that oh, screen? okay. <laughs> you, I I wish I wish, but um, y'all don't y'all don't y'all do not want to know me. When I am working, when I'm hacking, when I'm in the mainframe, uh, doxing you and everyone you know. <laughs> you know. Break into the IRS and get all people's taxes. You know, you know, it's funny. Um, I'm I'm pretty familiar with the architecture. Uh, of the computer systems that the federal government uses, especially for the IRS. Oh. And it's like, um, the, oh. I, I know that, here's the thing. Everything I say is being recorded by the NSA, right? So it doesn't matter. But <laughs> I mean, fair. Yeah, fair. basically, yeah. basically, yeah. it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, and I will definitely be extra watched. Yeah, they, <laughs> I, I love how they have those uh, custom windows. Uh, <clears throat> um, what do you call it? Uh, images. They have very secure networks, quantum hardened. Uh, it's just it, it's very it's very broad the things that they're capable of, and I would not envy the person who wants to hack the IRS. I would not envy the person yeah. who wants to hack the federal government. Um, not should get like who was that person uh, that did... hacked like the no fly list on Twitter a while ago? Holy oh, thing, I we did that. it. Oh. Um, we need to get them to hack the IRS. I mean, that all they was, really did was wait, wasn't, look wasn't on the dark web who, like, and found an old file. Yeah, no, it was I mean, it was actually just dark web leaks. Um, oh. That was uh, a list from, I think, was it 2013 or was it like three years ago? I remember there was a three in it. For legal reasons, I did not see it, so I don't know. Mm. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, hey, Ice Fang just sent me a voice message I can paste in chat. Oh, I see. Ice treating us tonight. Ice this is a talk about an icy moment. Fucking dessert oh, tree. Shit. Yeah, give me, give me one second. I'm grabbing it. Alrighty. Um. I'm so looking forward to the next one of these already, though. Oh my God. Same. 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 I, I won't be able to make it to the next one. I'll be working oh, a closing dude. shift. Oh, Remember oh. the Saturday. They're giving they're I giving know. me shorter hours this time around. So well, I still get off at nine, but still, mm -hmm. we're, we're we're getting a tiny, be, tiny, tiny bit better. I hate having a job and being responsible. All I want to do Ew. is be hurry the ends all day. <laughs> I just want to lay in bed all day and do nothing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> See that that's the life I my oh. passion is just hanging out. Same. Fair enough. Same. I, I like I like being just like job. the chill guy and that's it. I guess shaving fucking fucking geometry <laughs> dash right now. Oh my god. Your mom. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh nice. no, he's gonna, you, Man, you did not just laugh nice. at that. You did not just laugh at that. The oldest joke in the book, and you <laughs> lost your shit. Yeah, I will. I will lose my shit. I will lose my shit over that. Actually. You guys, you guys think I'm mature? You guys think? You guys no. think that I have? No. Uh, no. I'm hilarious, Look but that does up. not mean that I have Ooh. the most sophisticated sense of humor. <laughs> the quality of saying your mom cannot be understated. Look, I'm just saying we all we can't all be John Mulaney, okay? No matter how hard we try. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We don't talk about John Mulaney. Not after what he did. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Wait, do we not? Wait, oh god, is he is he being cancelled? He was cancelled about it. Yes. No. What? What? Wait, what did he do? do? I didn't hear about this. Um, I think he like cheated on his wife and there was like a an abuse charge or whatever. Oh, 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 oh no. It's all about the abuse charge, but I do rem I do remember that he went to That's rehab a and like he like the next special that he he released a special like kind of recently where he like talked about his time in rehab. 
All right. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Oh, they owe you. He he ha- he has a very very severe drug problem as well. Oh, so here's uh, the the little the little the little oh, axel tease. Thank you, Carbonara. Carbonara, and all I'm wearing is this <laughs> bow tie on hey, my Hey everyone. Oh, my God. Back to my only no. friends. Aww. Today we're Mark making Carbonara. <laughs> all I'm wearing is this bow tie on my dick. <laughs> 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 I love, I love that audio oh, so yeah. much. <laughs> God. Thanks for sharing. What the hell? Wow. He really does an incredible wow. Axel. So, um. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Isn't there like a guy on Pornhub who does just really wholesome videos like boyfriend like listen oh, there's, to there's that. tons oh, of people yeah. there's tons of people who do that. Yeah. Yeah. wholesome boyfriend holds Johnny door Sun. open for you yeah <laughs> I love that guy these guys are so weird how do you know that I um I don't understand this I just do like this is just a common knowledge thing right like that's all that's like me <laughs> I'm literally going to have so much fun going through this this thread later because y'all are my people this is good. <laughs> this, is, this is chaos. I, I, thrive, I hope we are. I thrive in chaos for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Chaos reigns. Chaos. Chaos, chaos. I, I have control. Some good pictures I can send. I, <laughs> yeah. I have some. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh, I'm here. I, I saying hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Does that mean that you guys oh, want me to do my rouge impression? Your what impression? My uh, rouge, rouge the bat. Yes, oh, you do. Oh, I want to hear it. Do it, do um, do it. Right. Let me see. Hey, y'all are Steven Universe fans, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, how do you feel about this? Oh my god! What? Uh, <laughs> no! 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 no. 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 I am. Um, no. 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 Oh, I accept God. it. I accept oh, it, but girl. I don't like it. Wow, <laughs> you deserve it. Like oh, it. you deserve so much better. No. What do you mean? I can kind I, of ha- see I have a folder dedicated to all these images. I assume that's kind of. You know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Um, that probably is not. Um, uh, Rick. What's what's the one the universe that he's from? The one thirty seven or something? Yeah, Rick thirty seven. I don't know. Okay. 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 Is canon. My brain yeah. my brain is small. I haven't watched that show. But it's well, like say, that's probably a different Rick. Fair, and you do need to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. We we can oh, 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 We can no. say that that's the wholesome Rick. That's the wholesome Rick that <laughs> You know, fucked a space rock. Mm-hmm. Fucked a lesbian oh, space okay. rock, I'll by do, the way. I'll do I'll do I'll do oh, God, rock. Friend. I do look, look I love gems, this one. gems in Steven Universe are made out of light. How do you fuck light? I'm sorry. How you just do. are made out of light? You should ask that. Is well, that actually the way that it happens is that when a mommy light and a daddy light love each other very much. No. <laughs> very much. <laughs> but Greg is human. Yeah, yeah. Remember this trend on Twitter. If I have I to start so explaining the biology, the xenobiology involved in Steven Universe, y'all are going to kill me. So um, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I've been like head deep into the Steven Universe fandom for years. Mm-hmm. I'm a big Steven Universe yeah. fan. I, I get it. Look, I just want to say the Rick, the Rick Sanchez and Pearl is not as bad as one of the members of the crew on Steven Universe shipping himself with uh, Pearl. Oh, I remember that. And he got fired for it. Because, like, all he yeah, did was draw so him and Pearl. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were from the show? They were just a fan. What? No, no, he was, he was, he no, was they, um, on the like... show, and all he did was just draw him and Pearl, and he got fired for it because he didn't even do his work. Yeah. <laughs> the definition of a sim. And if you guys do not know how difficult it is to get into animation business, that guy threw away the career of a lifetime. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, there's so much drama about animation that you just look at it and go, "Can you like shut up?" Because the two main victims are this works and uh, uh, Disney Pop, I think. Oh, just let them live. Just yeah. let them live. Doing their job. Basically, basically. Uh, um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I got to talk about before I go, but probably not. I really enjoy you guys. I hope you have a good night. What about one slur pearl? <laughs> go to sleep, mama. One slur oh, pearl is lit. Uh, All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>